Good day, good day, good day, everybody. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday. It's good to see you all joining in. Welcome to Living Life in Joy. And so this is the show that I love, I love because I get to share wonderful people who are about that joy life with you. So I have shared before that What's really important to me is to be a vessel of joy, expressing itself in the world. And there are many, 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 many people who are doing the very same. And so that's what the show is about. You know, having this show be a vehicle for people to come on and express what they are doing in the world, the good that they are expressing in the world. So I'm glad that you are all here with me today. And July has been an awesome month. And so this is our last Sunday for the month of July. And our theme has been Warrior. And we kicked off the month with Sekou Wrights, who I say is a warrior for heroes and being in service. And then we had the amazingly inspiring Morgan Grace, who is a sickle cell warrior. And she shared her journey dealing with and living with sickle cell anemia. And last week we had a warrior for the unhoused, Jay White, the founder and creator of Project Love Strong. And she had her wonderful event yesterday, Teas and Tea. And she was out there in Nashville, Tennessee. So was Sekou and other volunteers. There we go. (laughs) Talking about, not talking about, being in action, because we could all talk all day all long, right? Being in action to being of service to that um, to the unhoused community. So t-shirts and socks and showers, portable showers and food and just everything that the unhoused need that she could provide. She did that yesterday along with a crew of volunteers and other organizations. And I just wanna give out a shout out for her to Haynes who has adopted her as the um, charity that they are partnering with this year for 2021. And they shipped her box loads of socks and t-shirts and underclothes, just, just showered her with so many blessings that she could share with the unhoused. So today, Today, I am so excited for a number of reasons for our guest. And I say she is a warrior for adoption. And you will soon find out why I say that. So without further ado, go set ready. All right, all right, all right. So here we go, y'all. Good day. Let me just say, I always have to acknowledge my mother when I see her. So good day, mommy. It's good to see you. Lula May, it's good to see you. Everybody, thank you so much for joining in, for living life in joy. Tim, you know, hey, happy Sunday to you too. So today's guest is an amazing person. And so I want to put up this picture as I read her bio to you. So her name is Regina Smithwick. Regina is a professional. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You know, when we put up stuff, it kind of throws a, yeah, okay, here we go. So Regina is a professional organizer. She's a certified life coach. She's an author and talk show host. She is the owner of Smithwick Solutions, LLC, that offers organizational services Regina also hosts and produces the Facebook and YouTube live show, Let's Talk. Regina is a first time author of the book, Adoption, The Unknown Blessing. She attended Virginia State University and received her master's of science degree in organizational leadership from National University. She is also a proud member of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Inc. And she is also, y'all, my cousin in love. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. So 
let's play this video before I bring up Regina, because I want you to really get the essence of her and what she is doing in the world. My name is Regina Smithwick, and I am adopted. My adoption has shaped my life in many ways, and I would like to share those with you through my book, Adoption, The Unknown Blessing, as I take you through my breakdown to my breakthrough. You can find my book, Adoption, The Unknown Blessing, on Amazon. Thank you for your support. All right, all right. So without further ado, Regina Smith with welcome, welcome, welcome to Living Life in Joy. All right. Hello. Right. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> hey, Regina, how you doing, girl? I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you so much for allowing me to come on your show. I'm so oh, excited today. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm just so psyched to have you on with us today. So let's get into it. Right. So Regina, you know, part of living life in joy is also talking about just how things come about, right? Mm -hmm. And so part of what living life in joy is about is also sharing the journey, sharing the journey. And I, I like to put it in the context of, won't he do it? Won't right he now. do it? Right <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So tell us a little bit about your testimony, your journey. My journey, uh, my testimony started um, in, I would say, with all this coming about now, um, in 2019, um, I had a, a breakdown. I literally had a breakdown in 2019 in September. Uh, I, I was just tired of being sick and tired. I felt that I wasn't living to my full potential. I felt like that I wasn't doing God his purpose. I wasn't living in it. And I know I had to do something and I, I just knew it. So it, the, it started when I contacted you and when I contacted you to be my life coach, a spiritual life coach, um, it, it changed my life. It, it literally changed my life because, you know, you don't tell me what to do, but you guide and you, and you show me new options and new ways to do things. And when I was open to receive, that's the key. You have to be open to receive it because somebody probably told me this years ago or gave me a little snippet of it. But when I was open to receive it, then mm -hmm. I was able to progress and, 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 and sink it in. Mm -hmm. And then I was able to do the work. Yes. And when I did the work, it showed, it showed in, in 10 times fold of everything that happened to me from 2019 to today, that bio, I can't believe that's my bio that's <laughs> read. Like literally, I feel like I'm like listening. To, I'm watching a TV show on Oprah or something, and you're introducing the next guest because I'm like, who is she talking about? Oh, this me. <laughs> that's you, girl. That is you. You and did all the work in a year and a half. Imagine if you listened to him way before then, but you mm -hmm. know nothing's a mistake. That's right. Because I have right. to be in the right place to be able to receive. Yes, yes, and you did indeed. I could. I'm a witness. She did the work. She did the work, y'all. Everything I said to Regina, she did, did it. And then some, and then mm -hmm. some. So mm -hmm. now, Regina, you are a life coach yourself. So I tell know. me the decision to include that in your repertoire. I just love the feeling I had working with you. I love the outcome and I love the love that you gave. You, mm -hmm. you were stern, but you gave it in love. You wrapped it in a nice bow of love. And that's what you need. You know, um, it just it just made me see like you could really help somebody. You could really. But guess mm -hmm. what? I did it for another purpose, though. I did it for my my professional organizational business. Mm -hmm. Because when you're dealing with people and things, attachments, people get attached to things. Mm -hmm. And you have to learn how to talk to them to learn to teach them. It's in your heart. It's not yeah. in this tangible item. Yeah. If somebody passes away, you don't have to keep their whole wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Just keep one or two pieces just to give you a memory. But yeah. you get rid of the rest because you're not getting rid of them. You're getting rid of the items. So I did it for that purpose only, technically. <laughs> but then <laughs> it started to manifest in other things in my life. When I did less talk and then when I started doing my book, it just started zooming out other avenues. Yes. So I, I try to narrow it down because that's me thinking. 
Mm -hmm. God, that was me saying, I'm going to use it just for this. And it turned into using it for three sectors, for three different things. So Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. We never know. And we won't know unless we start to take action. That's and that's right. what you're doing. And that's what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So we're going to break this down a little bit, Regina, because you mentioned right. the professional organizing mm -hmm. business that you have created, Smithwick mm -hmm. Solutions. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about how you work with people and how you infuse what you know about the the releasing mm. with the people that you work with yeah so what i do is i'm a professional organizer i go into your homes or your businesses and i help you declutter i help you clear because i always said a clear space is a clear mind mm -hmm. so you can't think in chaos so let's clear your space and you'll be more productive you'll have a better mindset and you'll be able to produce mm -hmm. you know create stuff if you have a clear space and a lot of people don't realize because they get so stuck in that little spot so long, they get you know complacent. They don't realize their potential or they or their grace. So you have to get them out. So yeah. I, you know, I talk to them. We have some meetings and we really talk like, OK, tell me what, what it is. I'm here to serve you. Mm -hmm. I'm here to serve you. But yes. you have to allow me. That's like you. I had to allow. Well, you came in my life and I had to be able to receive. Mm. They have to get there too, because I could go in there and clean the house all day. I'm not a maid, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not there to be a maid. I'm there to help you change your life because I want to help you organize so you could do this yourself. You that's know? right. So that's what my purpose is. I want to teach you how to become this person that now you could be able to go out in the world and do everything because now you're not staffled and, and hold down with all that clutter. Yes. That's yes. My, that's my job. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And then let's talk. You know, this fabulous talk show that you have created. I was just so thrilled to be a guest on it when you was talking about seeking help with life coaches. Mm -hmm. It was wonderful. It so was. what was the inspiration? Let's talk started on um, February of this year. I really kind of felt a, a pull or something. I guess God was saying, you know, go out there and speak to these single women that are out there thinking that on this Valentine's Day, they less than or mm. they're not special because Jared didn't tell them they didn't get a ring from Jared <laughs> or, you know, they didn't get a ring from, you know, whatever the story you want to go to, you know, that makes them not as special. And, you know, a lot of us are programmed to think that we are because the society has this commercialization thing going on that you're not special unless somebody want you or somebody, you know, wants you to be a woman. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to just tell them your love. God loves y'all. And y'all, when your time comes, it's going to come. But until then, you do you and you work on you and make yourself a better person so he can align you with the right person. Mm. You, know, you can't sit there crying all day and then expecting this amazing man to come when you're not doing <laughs> it for yourself. Yeah. You, know, you got to really think about it. Like, let's switch the mindset. Mm -hmm. So we started with one show just to talk to the women on Valentine's Day to make them have something to do, first of all. So you know, mm. being sad and then kind of hopefully change their mindset a little bit or at least give them something to ponder on. Mm -hmm. so they'll be able to say, you know what? That's a good point. You know why I'm getting all this in the commercialization thing when, you know, it's, it's all about the money. It's all about the money. It's all is about to me. That's all. Mm -hmm. it's about. Mm -hmm. Because Jared don't say go buy your best friend a ring. Go buy <laughs> your, your sister a ring. It tells you a man and a woman, right? Because they want to make that money. <laughs> it's about, so if you break it down, you realize how silly it really is. And you go, you know what? It's not even that serious. I'm the same person on the 13th and on the 15th. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. So the, the talk show has continued. You mm -hmm. have amazing mm -hmm. topics on. Mm -hmm. And so just complete blessings with the continued expansion for the talk show. Mm -hmm. I imagine, Regina, one day I'm going to turn on the TV and there you will be I'm on planning. I on oh, all right, there you will be. There I'm like, pick me up. I'm claiming. <laughs> <laughs> and then we come to this celebration of your life's journey mm -hmm. through this book, mm -hmm. Adoption: The Unknown Blessing. Amen. So I remember Regina, you telling me the story mm. of connecting with mm. your biological father mm -hmm. and your your siblings 
I remember that, you know, it's like etched in my memory when you was telling me the story as you was going through it, as mm -hmm. you was going through it. Yep. So tell me, like, share a little bit about that journey mm -hmm. of this, of discovery and connection. Okay. And so let's go there. I won't ask double questions. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, well, the discovery portion of it is um, when I decided, when I went through my work with you and I dig deep enough to realize that, you know, you got to go down to the, to the, the core. You got to go down in that valley and find your reason of why are you doing what you're doing? Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff we try to do is surfing. We look at the surface stuff. Oh, my man life is not good. Or my job is not, isn't that's just surface. You mm -hmm. got to dig to find that real core problem. That's going to, that needs to be bubbled up. So mm -hmm. you can figure that out and everything else kind of, you know, everything else kind of works itself out. Mm -hmm. So when I realized where it came from of mm -hmm. my being ashamed and hiding and lying about being adopted, that kind of snowballed into what I was doing in my current life and getting to the point I had to break down. So mm -hmm. when I decided to go look for them, I was just like, you know what? I'm going to go. I'm, I'm going to stand on my truth. I'm proud who I am. And I'm not going to let nobody or anybody let me feel less than because I had no control of that situation. That's right. Why did I take on that weight? Because I was a child who made a child decision and I never corrected it. And I took it all the way to 50 years old and mm -hmm. never really thought twice about why I'm hiding this about me. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when I realized that it's a blessing and that's why I called my book, the unknown blessing, because at the time I didn't realize it's a blessing to mm -hmm. be adopted. It's mm -hmm. a blessing to have four parents that love you so much that they decided to give you away and, and, and get you. Mm -hmm. Those, that is God divine order and how he worked that out is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I sat there and thought it was a bad thing. Shame on me to mm -hmm. think that that was bad. Mm -hmm. That was beautiful how that works. So when I decided to do that, I went to Ancestry. Mm -hmm. And then one day I found my mother and my father and my siblings in one day. One day. One day. <laughs> I went through a lifetime of all of this. And God, after he said, you ready? Oh, you got to see the in now? Okay, then I'm going to make this easy because now you're listening, so I'm going to reward you. And he one day. <laughs> I remember Regina. It was extraordinary. It was extraordinary. I so, hear like stories about people going, like doing all this Googling and doing all this to try to find. And I just sat there and got sent out two emails, one for one cousin on one side, one for one cousin on the other side. They replied to me in 30 minutes and they was like, Hey, I know that's my cousin, my cousin. Here's the phone number. Boom. I was I found them. That easy. So you reconnected with so so share a little bit about the connection the reconnection with your father, mm. right? Yes, yes. My father. Um, after we connected, the first thing he said to me was, "Who's your mother?" I said, "Patricia Ann Morton." He said, "You're my daughter." <laughs> I said, "That was that. Oh, that's it." Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you're my daughter. He said, I already knew you was out there. I just didn't know, you know, I didn't know who you were. You know, I, I knew you was a girl, but that's all I knew because, you know, what happened, my birth mother gave me up and uh, didn't um, tell him. He didn't know. So when he came to figure out what was going on, I was already gone. So he mm. was out there searching for me. Um, he went to the Oprah Winfrey show. He did everything, tried to find me. Um, and just happened one day, I just... <laughs> All of them, and he was just like, he just couldn't believe it. He kept on, and until this day, he calls me every single day, mm. about three, four times a day. He just so happy that after 50 years, even though, you know, he, he was just glad I was good. He glad I was healthy. He glad I was raised. He praises my parents. He praises them all the time. Mm. And how great he, they raised me for me to allow me to be here to see him. Yes. You yes. Know? We didn't have no issues. Like he was amazing. He's still happy. He he loves my mom. And you know, when he comes visits and he they'll talk and you know, and he's just happy that I am in his life now. Yes. And what about your birth mother? She passed away in 2007. Mm. Um I this is my in my take on this. I feel that God, divine order, divine, you know, I'm gonna see her again. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're a believer. You know that we're all going to leave this world and we're going to be all together. So I'm going to see her again. Yes. But until then, I'm actually amazed at how much my sister 
And my uh, my nieces and nephews tell me so much. You look just like your mother. You act like your mother. You walk like your mother. I was walking through the house, and my, my nephew said, "Oh my gosh, you slide your feet just like grandma did." Like, and there's like so many, you know. And even my father, he would look at me like I would just saw him. I went to visit him last weekend, and he mm. just looked at me. He said, "You look just like your mother." You mm. look just like your mother. And so for me to hear all that, I feel a connection with her. Yes. So I'm good. I'm yes. good. And I know she's good that she, first of all, her kids are together. Yes. All three of us are together. Yes. So she's happy. And I know she is. I did a rededication for her too. I went to her grave and we had a ceremony. My family was so loved. It, it took a lot for them because they were hurt. They mm. that woman made a, made, meant a lot to them. Mm. And they had to reopen that wound just for me to have a closure, to have a ceremony. Mm. Like, so for them, I love y'all. Thank y'all again for allowing me to do that. Um, um, I needed that closure just to visit her at her gravesite to tell her, thank you for giving me life. Yes. Thank you, not giving, thank you for not going to the abortion clinic. Thank you for carrying me for nine months and giving me that unconditional love, even though you knew you was not going to know who I was. Mm. Mm. That's a lot. Oh, Regina, that's just so beautiful. And so, you know, it's not lost on me that this month theme is warriors, you know, and for someone to for for someone to give their child up for adoption mm -hmm. takes a lot of courage. It sure does. It takes a lot of courage. Yes, ma'am. So you know, blessings to your mom. And, you know, I know your, your, your mother that raised you. Yes, so Darcy. shout out. That's, <laughs> yes, right. yes, That's yes. my mommy right there. I love her. She's the, she's the best mommy. She's the greatest, best granny ever. She's just, she just gives and gives and gives. And I mean, never missed out. And I never had without never. Yes. So I love you, mommy. Yes. And so what, yeah. <laughs> so what made you decide to make, to write the book? Oh, I guess I got caught up in my transparency, being vulnerable. Uh, you know, I was just like, you know what? I don't care. I'm, uh, yeah, I just feel I was just so happy. And I felt that I love myself. And when I knew I was a child of God and when I read the book, The 30 Day Mental Diet, I told everyone about this book. I mentioned this book so much. I like you don't understand. My coach gave me this book. It changed my life because I didn't know where I was placed in this universe. I didn't know that I meant that much to this universe. And when I read the book and realized that 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 I matter, I'm mm. a child of God, and He put me here for a purpose. Mm. He didn't put me here just to lie gag and play around all day. He put me here to be in service because if we serve each other, we all happy. Yes, yes, yes. It's like a click with, oh my God, it just woke me up. And so I said, you know what? This could help other people. It's not about me. Yes. We put so much things on us, about mm -hmm. us. It's, none of this is about us. Mm -hmm. We are here for other people. And when I realized that and I said, you know what? This book is going to serve at least one person. Mm -hmm. I did my job. And that's what God wanted me to do is to put it out there because there's, there's nothing to be ashamed of. There's other people like this, help them. And that's what made me write the book. Yes. So before we go to joy questions, yes, Lula May. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Shout out from the congregation of joy. Thank yes. You. Thank you. <laughs> before we go to joy questions, how can people get the book? Yes. Very simple on Amazon. If okay. you go to, if you type in adoption, the unknown blessing, I will pop right up on the top. It's a purple book, as you see with my picture on it. Um, I really, really appreciate your support. I am working on getting, um, uh, yeah, I, you know, of course you you want a profit. I'm not going to lie, but mm -hmm. but I'm putting proceeds together because I want to help other adopted children in my in my in the foster care system. There's mm -hmm. 50 kids a day that age out of the foster care system, and they get thrown in the street and go. Good luck to you. Mm. You know. I want to be able to do something to assist these kids because they never been adopted. I thought I wasn't blessed. Mm. that I was adopted. These kids never been adopted. Mm. So that's what they wanted. They dreamed all they like to be adopted. Mm. So who am I to feel ashamed of something that other people have been begging for all their lives? Yes. So if I could do anything to assist with that, I really, really, truly appreciate your questions the books that would go towards that. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah. yeah so a warrior for children too. Yes. Who have not had the experience of 
of of being adopted, you know, mm -hmm. of having that stable home environment. That's right. Yes, yes. So let's get into some joy questions, y'all. All right, let's go, let's go. All right. So what does joy look or feel like for you, Regina? Joy, I would say it looks like I'm a child of God. <laughs> it looks like um, I'm just happy to see each day. Mm -hmm. I'm just happy. Like each day is like a, a, a joy. I wake up and I say my acronyms, girl. I say it every day. Regina, royal, educated, gorgeous, independent, nice, and amazing. I start every day like that now. I tell you, God, listen to you. <laughs> let me tell y'all something. I, let me just do a little break real quick. This woman right here is amazing. I know y'all knowing that now because she's out there and, you know, doing all this, you know, her shows every day and she's doing this show. But I'm telling you, this woman changed my life. OK, if you're in the process in your life, and you don't know where to go and you're just in like in a shambles and you are stuck. Call this woman because she would definitely help you guide you. Now, she ain't going to do the work for you, but she's going to guide you in the right direction to do your work. So I'm sorry, I had to do that for you. Oh, thank you, Richie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Richie. I'm sorry, sorry. I, I never thought what you asked me to what, you know. <laughs> but, but when you, okay, I'm gonna go back to your question. I'm sorry. All but right. When you live in your purpose, is that's what I see it as when you live in your purpose. Okay. Mm -hmm. Question two. I say I'm living life in joy. What are you living life in? I'm living life in abundance. Yes, yes, yes. In abundance. Yes. yes, yes. I know that's right. I know that's right. I'm not scared right. to ask God either. I'm not scared to ask him. I used to be like, oh, I don't want that much. You know, mm -mm. I want it. I want it. I want it all. I want all three of these businesses. I want them all to prosper. I want all that money because I want to be able to do. You can't help people unless you have money to do. Mm -hmm. You got to get, get out of that slave mentality. But get out of that, you know, we got it. We want it because we can't help the less we right. have. That's right. We'll help every dime. Yes, that's I right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. About that abundant life. Yes. That's right. That's yes. right. Oh, I could go right now. I could go. But I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be on. I'm going to go to the third question. <laughs> what is your joy song? Kelly Price, It's My Time. It's my time. It's my time. So Kelly Price, one of my one of my favorite singers too. It's there my she time. is. Oh, that's right. Yes. It's, yes. My it's my time. So I want to read a couple of verses from from that song, and right. you can share what it means for you. All right. I decided that I was born to be deep in love and happy, and my best days are still in front of me. Everything will be all right because now it's time for me. It's my time to rise. It's my time to shine. It's my time to live. It's my time to fly. It's my time. It's my time. Mm -hmm. That means to me is Regina was living below her potential. Mm -hmm. Regina was, had self-esteem issues. Regina didn't love herself. Mm -hmm. Regina didn't think that she was worthy. Mm. When Regina figured out Regina was all these things, Regina decided it's time to live and it's yes. time to, to do God's work and it's time to have a purpose. Yes. And in that interim of that, it was time for me to rise, it was time for me to shine, it was time for me to live, and time for me to fly. It is my time. It and is I'm your time. This time, and it is my time, and I'm not ashamed of that. I'm not ashamed of that we all should think this way. And we should not let nobody think that, oh, you're conceited, you're bragging. I am because I'm a child of God. I sure am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's, no, there's no shame in my game no more. I don't care what you think. When you love yourself, you don't care what you think, what other people think about you. I guarantee that's right. you. When you don't, and you're unsure of yourself, that's when you start having doubt. That's I right. I ain't there no more, so I'm good. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. This is a woman who's about <laughs> saying, saying it's her time. And she that's is right. showing it. She is showing it. I'm not sure what my producer's <laughs> doing right, right now. Right. He's showing right. without the music. He's That's showing. Right. That's he's showing. right. That's the video. That's right. So we're your see Kelly. Just just drop in Regina because that <laughs> is her song. I play that it every day at the gym. Song. Every day at the gym. That is my song. I play every day at the gym. 
And you got a shout out from Simone. Yes, self love. That's right, Simone. You gotta love yourself. Who who else is gonna do it for you? That's right. And I think Stephanie Arch. I think this is her song too. This is her joy song too. Oh yes, Stephanie. Yes, yes. I love yes, it. yes. Well, Regina, beloved, thank you so much for being on the show today. You have been an inspiration. You have. I am just so happy and so proud of you. So proud of you because you are doing it, girl. You are doing it. Thank you. So please, everyone, without further delay, today, <laughs> go to Amazon and buy Regina's book, The Adoption, The Unknown Blessing. Yes. There is something there for you. Even if you have not been adopted, mm -hmm. there is something there for you. So yes. please buy the book, support what she's doing. She shared that the, some of the proceeds is going to supporting and providing services to children who have been aged out of the foster care system. Mm -hmm. 50 every day. That's mm -hmm. a lot of young people out there mm -hmm. lost, lost. Mm -hmm. So we can be a warrior with Regina and help that sector also. Yes. So Regina, yeah. love. I love you. I love you, son. my cousin in love. I love you. <laughs> I love you, girl. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me. I really appreciate you, appreciate you following my heart. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, y'all. There she is, Regina Smithwick. Check her out. Check out Let's Talk on Facebook and on YouTube. It's a wonderful weekly talk show talking about everything under the sun and always interesting and always informative. All right, so let's wrap up the show. So thank you all for being with me this month for our warrior month. And I just want to share our joy quote. The joy quote is, but if you choose the way of the warrior, living a life of service, it will demand of you the best you have. You may not need to be great, but the world needs your greatness. Ah, that's Jon Snow, y'all, from Game of Thrones. But he didn't say that. So just let's be clear. Let's be clear. We are all warriors. We all have it within us to tap into the essence of who we are, to be of service in the world. And each one of my guests this month are demonstrating how to do that, right? They're not waiting for everything to be perfect, right? They are just stepping into the greatness that they know that they already are because they are the individualized expressions of the God, of God, of the universe, of the divine, of source itself. So whatever is calling to you to step into your greatness, to be of service in the world, do it. Just go ahead and do it. Do one thing, one thing, and that one thing will lead you to the next thing, guaranteed. Regina is a testament to that. Sekou Rice is a testament to that. Morgan Grace is a testament to that. And Jay White is a testament to that. All warriors in their own right, being of service in the world. All right, y'all. All right. So thank you so much. Yes. The mind too was how much you transformed my life. Oh, Stephanie. So Stephanie is, is also one of my clients that I worked with a number of years ago and who also now is a life coach and who also was on this show, Living Life in Joy. So Stephanie, I love you. Thank you for that blessing and acknowledgement. But you did the work just like Regina did the work, right? Yes, yes, yes. So please join me tomorrow for Morning Sip, 1030 a.m. Eastern Time, right where you're watching me now. I love all of you. Peace and blessings. Peace and justice. We're living life in joy. We're living life in joy. And you know what? Warriors are connected to their yes.